YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. I hope you all enjoyed my trip to one of my favorite boutiques yesterday, Gia Rose. I picked up so many cool clothes there that I had to redo my closet organization a bit to fit them all in. And in fact, I'm wearing one of the tops and denim today. So I wanted to show you those, and I will link them below just in case you didn't see the video, and I'll also link that video below too. But my bag of the day is my antique pink Longchamp extra small queer Le Pliage. And it's this beautiful pink color. The leather is Matisse leather, which is a blend of lamb and goat, and it's super soft and buttery. My outfit is this ruffle top by Haley, and then the jeans are risen denim which are great. They suck you in in all the right places. And I'm gonna even lift my leg up so you can see the bottom. They've got this light distressing at the bottom. I don't typically wear shoes for these videos, so you got to see my barefoot, oops. But I will be putting on Hey Dudes here in just a little bit. I have an unboxing for you today. And the reason for this unboxing is that I sold two green bags, my Fern Cassie 19, my Light Fern Cassie 19, and my Pine Cassie. So this is a green bag. And let me just get a quick screenshot. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. I don't have a whole heck of a lot of time right now. It's about time to go get my kiddos from school and bring the youngest one to basketball. I can't find where to open this box. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. To bring my youngest to a basketball lesson. And then after that, have a parent meeting to go to for his baseball team. My oldest will be running track this evening. I have a wonderful support system with his friends and my friends to get him home. And let me just say, I opened this box and this package is from 24S. So look at the fantastic packaging here. They're very well branded. 24S is a company that's owned by LVMH. That is Louis Vuitton Mohe Hennessy, I believe is how you say it. And they own Louis Vuitton, as well as many other brands like Fendi, Givenchy. I can't even list them all. But I didn't know that they sold Coach. And they, they have Coach on their website in colors that you sometimes can't get in the United States. So I'm assuming that this is my receipt. I'll open that up, check it out, make sure everything's in order. It's return information. They do offer free returns from the future going forward. If I get offered a free return, I'm gonna make sure that I pack up the item on camera because I'm currently going through an experience with Farfetch. They sent me an email today, sorry for the lawnmower. Um, they sent me an email today. It's been since Friday since I replied back to them with my unboxing video to show them what I received and what I sent back. I didn't film packing up the box to return the Marc Jacobs mini tote, which I wish I would have because the department store is now saying that I sent the bag back, but somehow the tags are not the same as what they sent and the dust bag is not the same. And I have evidence on video of what they sent me. So I'm hoping it'll all work out, but I still don't have a resolution. PayPal was super generous and they escalated a case, decided it in my favor and had let Farfetch know that. So Farfetch has until May 2nd to contest it with evidence that would essentially reopen the case. PayPal has assured me that the only evidence that they could really supply would be a time-stamped photo of what they put in the box that would indicate what bag it was, what dust bag it was, what price tag it was. And so the, the email I got from Farfetch today was that they were waiting to hear back from the department store, which is a French department store. And I replied back with somewhat of a scathing email saying, you know, I provided video evidence. They have had the bag back in their possession for more than two weeks. It was actually more than two weeks before they even said there was an issue. Now it's been another half a week and they haven't replied back with any sort of evidence, which is 
let me just say annoying. Okay, so I've got my return paperwork they provided. It's an international company, so if I did need to return it, I would put this on the outside with the paperwork. It's sort of scary to return things internationally, but they do make it easy um, to do so. They provide directions and, and just make it super easy. The package is in this gift bag, which I find very refreshing. And then when I pull it out, it's in the coach dust bag. Oh, I gave it away. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cute. There's a scene inside of the shopping bag and it has all kinds of things on it from Paris, like Notre Dame, Le Bon Marche, the Louvre, the Eiffel Tower, Bastille, all kinds of cool things. I'm feeling sort of European. So here we go. I can tell you right now, I think I like it. I am slightly disappointed that they didn't fasten the flap closed because you can get damage on the turn lock when you don't do that because the bag will hit on itself. So that is one negative, but the turn lock looks to be in perfect condition. This is the Coach Pillow Madison and it's in the color Army Green. And I am going to unwrap her because I plan on keeping this bag. And I don't think that you're gonna get the full experience without some unwrapping. So first, let me just examine it. I'm gonna look at the back while you look at the front. She's looking very nice. I'm not seeing any, I'm not providing you with a very good view. I'm not seeing any scratching, scuffing. I mean, this is an amazing, my glasses are all fogged up. This is an amazing experience compared to my recent pillow tabby unboxings. I'm not seeing any weird gathers or issues like you do with so many, like two thirds of the pillow tabbies. And by the way, I have a pillow tabby video coming up that I told you bad things come in threes. I have a feeling that it's gonna be a bad thing, but I have another day or two before I know for sure. So I keep telling you about all the things that are coming. You've gotta just keep watching, I guess. Subscribe to the Handbag Housewife. Go check my Instagram. Okay. So the Pillow Madison by Coach is a new style and it has this neat diagonal quilting and currently at Coach, I believe they have a granite colored one or a, I think it's called Dove Gray. They have a coral colored one and they have a chalk colored one and they may have just released the matte black, like the all black one because I did see that a friend got it but sometimes you can get your hands on these before they're officially released by contacting a coach sales associate and having them order it for you. This color, army green, you can't get it here in the United States, at least not that I know of. And so I found this on 24s.com. I got a 10% discount with no tax. They had it to me in less than a week and it came from France, I believe. The bag is, super soft and squishy. And for me, sometimes whether I like a bag has all to do with the color. So I didn't like this bag in gray. I didn't like it in chalk. I didn't like it in coral or whatever they call that color. And I don't really want it in matte black because I have so many matte black bags. But this color, it just really spoke to me. It is just gorgeous. The color is called Army Green, and they have it woven in to the chain. Now this bag can be worn crossbody by pulling the chain up on the outside or the inside. Now I'll pull it up on the outside, but this is a trick. You get two different lengths depending on where you pull it up. In all honesty, I'll probably always wear this bag on the shoulder because I find when the chains are thinner like this, that using two chains instead of one is easier on your shoulder. This bag has a large back pocket. 
There is plenty of room for your phone and it's lined with a very soft, luxurious micro suede. Inside the bag, there is a flap and this is very Chanel. The double flap, it does help to preserve the structure of the bag. And there's a nice size front pocket that I probably won't use very much because the strap, not the strap, the flap, which is a magnetic closure, kind of makes it inconvenient to get into there. I might put some things in there that I don't use very often. Now inside of the bag, oh my gosh, you guys, you should see all the packing materials I have on the floor. They packaged this item beautifully. I've got almost everything off except for the price tags. This pocket is really all I need and it's got a zippered back pocket where I'll put all of my paper things like receipts and vaccine cards and stuff. And look, it has the most adorable hang tag just like the pillow tabby. And I'm going to shrink tube that on there just like I do all of my hang tags by coach because I don't wanna lose it. And if you haven't done that with your bags, I'll link how to do that below as well as there's links within the description box of where to buy shrink tube. So I'm happy. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of stuffing back inside so that I can close this easily. I mean, finally, I get a win. Oh my gosh, you don't know how long I've waited for a win. I have, I've tried to get the green pillow tabby and I ordered, I've ordered a few of them and I haven't had good luck so far. So I'll let you know how it all turns out. But this one, this is a definite win. And if I can't get the Amazon green pillow tabby in good shape, then I think I'll be content with this one. But let me try it on. See, she's so neutral. People call this color army green or well, coach calls this color army green, but a lot of people call this color khaki, which I've always thought of khaki as being a tan color, but like Louis Vuitton calls this color green khaki on their multi pochette accessories. She's a win. I, I love this. It's so soft. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to look up and see what it's made out of. I think it's lambskin. They told me, actually, when I went into the coach store, they told me that all of these bags with quilting were made out of lambskin. And the reason for that is because it's harder to sew these quilts in to calfskin. Now, I don't know if that's true or not because my Saint Laurent bag, it is made out of calfskin and it has beautiful quilting. So I feel like coach is kind of just making stuff up to seem fancy when they say that, but it definitely, I think it feels different than the calfskin. So in this case, I do think it is lamb, at least some of it. Sometimes they'll mix leathers. With the pillow tabby, it's Napa leather on the outside, but then the inside is a different material and I think it's calfskin because it's hardier. And so that way, when you're getting in and out of the bag, you don't scratch it up as much. That is my unboxing, my successful reveal of this beautiful bag all the way from France in less than a week. I would highly recommend 24s.com. And right now you can even get 15% off. I believe you can at least get 10% off as a new customer. So if you go on there, make sure you search what brands you're looking for, because if you click on designers, coach isn't one of them, but if you type in coach, all the coach stuff pops up. So. I'm gonna go ahead and go get the kids. I'm Erin and I'm the handbag housewife. I enjoy every minute I spend with all of you and I look forward to the next video. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.